Okay, good morning everybody. I am, <clears throat> today is the first day of school for the kids and I want to go see them off to the bus and I also want to take pictures of them before they go. So I'm going to walk them to the bus stop and see them off and go from there. So I just want to, I want to show you guys everything the kids are wearing. Give me a second. We got Jeremiah. We got Julie. Look this way, baby. Let me see. Show them your shoes. And your little dress. Look at your dress. This is Izzy. You're cold. Okay. Your book bag. I see your book bag. And we got Joshua. My hair. Joshua's wearing today. Look at Juliet hair. You gotta show them the hair. Jeremiah. <laughs> Jeremiah on his phone. The first day of school, you guys excited? No. You're not excited about going back to school? I thought you were, Julie. I'm pretty nervous. Me too. When's the last day? What grade are you going to, Julie? Second. What about you, Izzy? Upstairs. I don't want to go upstairs. You don't want to go upstairs? Why not? Because uh, every time I walk up the stairs, I get tired. Oh. Oh. What about you, Jeremiah? What grade are you going to? Fifth. Fifth grade. And Justin, what grade are you going to? Good job. Joshua, what about you? Third grade. All right. Hopefully, y'all didn't miss the bus. Halfway. Who going to school? Me. Yeah, you go to. I have to drop you off because you're going to a new school today. Oh. Look at Izzy hair. I wanted to show. I I did this style versatile because you can you are yeah, you can do this style versatile like I had it in two ponytails and then um I took that out and put it in one ponytail so that's how hair hair is looking she I feel like hairstyle all right the kids about to get on the bus about to go to school all right guys go ahead bye bye baby mommy this used to be Izzy bus. Oh, give me a hug. Oh, okay. All right. Bye, Jeremiah. Bye, Joshua. What's the hmm? What's the Tuesday. Let me see. Did you, you got a cut right here? The dog. Happy. You get a hit. Got a dog. You got a slash right here. That was him. There. He did it. Oh, uh, and, and that meant that he, he cut his shirt. Did it. Oh, does it sting? No. Did it put alcohol on it? Yeah. Could you imagine having a cut and putting alcohol on it? So, hey you guys. I am about to go to my doctor's appointment. This is the next day. All the kids are at school. And um, I have an appointment to go to. And I got to drop Randy off. I got a lot of stuff to do today that I wanted to try to get done. I got a uh, cup of strawberries. Did I bring my water? I didn't bring my water. No allergies to medication? No. All right, well, I'm all set here and he will be here shortly, okay? Okay, thank, thank you. you. All right, so I dropped Randy off, got done, got done with the doctor's office, and I am finally home. I got some things to do. Like, my dryer has been acting crazy for the past couple of weeks, and it's not drying at all. It's not drying any of the clothes, and the cycle has been running over and over and over again, and it will not dry the clothes. It won't get hot. So I had to go to the laundromat, two weeks ago because of that reason and I did have somebody
come in. I had a appliance repair guy come and try to fix it, try to find out what the problem is because I did not want to get a new dryer. So he found out what the problem is. It was clogged up with so much of that lint stuff. So he cleaned it out and he also had to replace some kind of thermostat in there. He fixed it, okay? And was able to use the dryer again. And he also told me if um, if something happens to the dryer again after, after he fixed it, we do have a warranty on the service. He'll come back out and try to fix it again. But he did also mention that if the vent that's uh, that's connected to the wall and goes up to the roof, if that is clogged, there is no warranty on that service. Like if that's causing the dryer to um, go out the way that it's doing, he's not coming out. So I feel like I just wasted a whole hundred and sixty-six dollars that I paid to get that repair because the dryer went out again. So I cannot dry my clothes. I'm gonna have to go to the laundromat now. So I was gonna stress. I was stressing about it a little bit yesterday. I'm not going to lie. I was stressing about it. But I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to let that get to me. It'll be okay. There's a laundromat right here in our complex. And I can easily take it over there. Wash it at home. And then take it over to a little laundromat right here. And just dry the clothes. And just do it that way. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm sitting in the car because I just pulled up. So I'm going to be going in there and wash at least two more loads. And take those loads over to a laundromat and dry them. Like that's the only option that I have right now. Until I find out why the dryer keeps going out. And if I really need to clean that vent. Like I want to do it myself. I really want to move the dryer out the way. And look up in that vent and see if there's stuff that's blocking it. I mean that's the only thing I can think of. That could be the reason why it keeps uh, messing up my dryer. Because it's probably still clogged he said that he does not the repair guy he said that he does not repair well he does not clean out that big vent and i will have to call the apartment um maintenance to come clear that out but the way they take they take so long to fix anything and i have to always end up doing these things myself so i'm gonna take it upon myself to check that get like a mirror or maybe my phone and see if i can you know look at the mirror and see if i can see anything that's blocking that but that's where i'm at so let me get in here wash these clothes and take it to the laundromat to get dried that's my option right now and i'm gonna take it so yeah i don't think i mentioned but i went to the doctor just for a normal one-year checkup just just a physical it's nothing nothing too major going on with me and i found that i am healthy as a bug which is great because i that's so surprising to have my iron levels normal because I never have normal iron levels but this time it did so I am healthy as a bug and I did want to mention that
Yeah, it's really, it's not even working. So I gotta take all of this out and put it in the next one. So let me at least do this one before I do that. tell you guys this crazy story so I'm on my way to go pick up my son from his school and it's Justin who goes to the private school and I recently just got a email from the school saying that the school is on lockdown because there is an active shooter in the area and well something about police activity involvement something going on with an active shooter and police like I don't know I really don't know what's going on and they say his class his, his school is on lockdown so I'm like what the heck what the heck do I do here I'm still gonna go pick up my kid from school I'm gonna sit there until they open them doors and I can get my kid from out of that school and they're still trying to find the person that's I guess actively shooting I don't know what's going on. I'll find out more later, hopefully. But I'm still going to go get my kid. And I'm going to sit out there outside that school until I get him. They, let, they say they're not letting no one in. Like, I can see right now there is... Wow. I see two um, helicopters circling the area. I don't get it. On the email, they say the, the school is still locked down and they want the parents that are on the way to get the kids to sit in their cars until lockdown is lifted. And I'm going to wait. Like, Jesus. See, I don't know. She didn't say if they were, if anybody was trying to get in the school to shoot anybody. But I do know someone recently got shot and there is a shooter that's on the run that everybody's looking for. Well, the police, law enforcement is looking for. So, there's that. Just want to clear that up. I'm the one that's trying to get inside the school. They just want to make sure the kids are safe. And I understand that. Now, can you guys see... I don't know if you can see the helicopter. I'm gonna wait in this hot car until they release my kid so we can get the heck away from this area. This is ridiculous. Wow. Just wow. This is not safe at all. Not safe for it to be so so close to. <sighs> wow. Okay, so we're still here. Well, I'm still here waiting. And I finally um, got the story about what happened and why <laughs> there's so much going on. So um, I found that that a guy had shot a lady today around 11 a.m. And he shot and killed her right 
a street over from where Justin's school is. And, um, dang. They said she was shot in the leg and that it wasn't non life threatening, but she passed away recently. And uh, they know who he is, and my guess is he has got to be like in this area. He must still be in this area because in a way they're still circling around if they have him and they've taken him into custody somewhere. So it's just not somebody running around shooting everybody. It was just an it was an incident that just happened around 11 a.m. today. Wow. So I just wanted to update you guys and they still got it locked down. My guess is once they have them into custody, then that's when they will open the school back up for, you know, parents to come get their kids. Look, maybe forever. I'll park way down there waiting for you. Hi, hi, look at this. It was peace. Hey, look at this. 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 Look at cooking this roasted garlic and herb pork. This is the loin, the filet loin. So I'm going to be cooking two of these with some yellow rice and green beans. Can you see? I'm going to get started on it now because there might have to be the karate in about an hour and 30 minutes. So I want to already have this cooked before we leave so we can just come home and eat. So I just need to know where the directions are. Cooking instructions. Okay, here we go. I need to preheat for 375 Fahrenheit. The pork in the rack. Roasting pan. Roast for 30 per pound. How many pounds this is? Okay, so preheat oven to 375. So I need to get started on cooking the rice. So I can just be done with that. My rice is ready to be put in the oven and cook for about 45 minutes. What happened? Oh, good. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right, you guys. This is the last of my vlog. I want to end it off here because it's some other things that I want to get started on. And I need to film, so I want to go ahead and cut this video off and start with another one. So thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more videos. And have a good one. Good night.